AM5 News meteorologist Bella Grace here with your extended forecast. We are watching a little bit of a warm front trying to head our way a pretty weak one, but it's definitely bringing in the warm air and the moisture as we get into the weekend. You can see that's just starting to try to move into Oklahoma and Arkansas. Definitely going to be moving over our heads as we get into the weekend. That's going to bring some gusty winds both for this afternoon and tomorrow. Here we're looking at about four five o'clock today we're seeing some stronger wind gusts around 15 miles per hour a few spots like Salisaw seeing some stronger winds like 18 miles per hour 16 in Alma Fort Smith if we look ahead at our future we're going to see these continue into the overnight early morning hours early 5 a.m tomorrow we're seeing those 18 mile per hour winds stick around mostly in northwest Arkansas a little bit lighter in the River Valley. That's going to continue to be strong as we go throughout the day. Tomorrow seems to be our big windy day. Some of those gusts could be up over 25 miles per hour. So we're looking out for that, especially in the morning, moving further south in the afternoon. But we could feel these strong wind gusts throughout the day. You can see this is about 1.30, 2 o'clock, close to 30 mile per hour winds in Eureka Springs, 31 in Huntsville. We can see some stronger wind gusts out there for us trying to move out of our area, but moving into the River Valley as we get later on this tomorrow evening. That's going to be the windiest time of the day for us. You can see those high 20s, 30s trying to move in. Just as we get a shift in our pattern, we start to see things move around. And that's when these strong, strong winds are going to really roll in. It's not until the overnight hours that things start to calm down. And by Sunday, we'll still be seeing a bit of that rain or wind, but won't be feeling as much as it much of it as we were on Saturday. We've been talking about this all week. Our high pressure system sitting over Arkansas and Oklahoma. We're seeing that settle right in for this weekend. This is about Sunday. We're seeing that take over most of the Midwest and it's not budging too much until we get into next week. Things start to calm down ever so slowly. You can see Tuesday, we're still mostly under this high pressure system, but things are starting to kind of shift a little bit, calm down for us. The one thing this high pressure system is absolutely bringing our way over the next 24 hours, lots of moisture. Here's the difference in our dew points between today and tomorrow. Same time in the afternoon, we're seeing seven more degrees of those dew point values higher, closer to nine in Poto, five in Fayetteville and Fort Smith. That means it is going to be very muggy tomorrow. We're definitely going to be feeling it today. We're already in the high 60s with our dew points. Once you add these couple more degrees to it, we're going to be feeling closer to the 70s, which puts us in the very humid, almost tropical range feeling tomorrow. And that's going to come with an increase in our heat. We are going to feel very warm as we get later into the afternoon, likely on uh, alerts for heat advisories out across five country. Most of that holding off right now, we're only seeing that in Sequoia County where we're getting up to about 106, maybe 107 degrees for our feels like temperatures, our heat indexes. So things are feeling nice and warm. We're seeing those hundreds out across the River Valley, closer to the high 90s in Northwest Arkansas, as well as other parts of the River Valley. Our actual temperatures, Still in the 90s, still very warm for us, but lower 90s. We're not expecting to really jump into those high 90s just yet. We are watching for a few showers as well. Spotty, scattered showers trying to move through just the edge of a system grazing us here in five country tomorrow. Most of that taking over the afternoon, but we could see a few spotty showers continue into Sunday and even throughout early next week. We have the chance of those showers because we have a decent amount of moisture that's really rolling in and settling into five country as long as we have that high pressure system over us, which we'll sit with for most of the week. As long as that's there, we could get a summertime pop up or two that would not be surprising, but most of our coverage is going to stay lower like this 10% we're seeing on Sunday. You can see the River Valley trying to warm up a little bit more, heating up through Sunday, but hopefully we'll see this rain drop down our moisture values just a little bit as we get into Sunday. Our Saturday might be spent a little bit gusty, a little bit rainy, and 
pretty warm, that's for sure. We're seeing these showers trying to trek their way into our area by around noon tomorrow. You can see those stretching mostly on our eastern side, but a few spotty showers are going to pop up across northwest Arkansas and our western side. That's moving south as we go throughout the afternoon. A few scattered pop-up showers, looking at that around 2 or 3 o'clock in northwest Arkansas. A few on the eastern side of the River Valley kind of stretching into our southern counties. We're going to watch that roll south south of I-40 by around 4 o'clock. If you've got dinner plans and you're in the River Valley, likely you might run into a scattered shower or two. It shouldn't stick around long, but should be a nice little cooler spot for us when we're going to be really feeling the heat in the evening hours. So might help to calm things down across the River Valley if you're feeling too hot. We are going to see these showers, like I said, low end chances as we go throughout the week. We're sitting around 10 to 20 percent chances of those showers bumping those up as we get later on into the week. That's because we're trying to see if maybe we could get a bit of a cold front to come by. It should be a relatively weak one, but it's going to bring a few showers our way, going to drop our temperatures down. We're going to peak in the mid 90s for northwest Arkansas as we get a little bit later, calm that down to the 90s, back to the 80s, hopefully for the weekend. But we are definitely watching that really roll in for the River Valley, watching that bring a few shower or shower chances our way for the end of next week. That's a pretty far look out. But if you're trying to make plans for your Labor Day weekend, this is what to look for. 80s. We're going to be sitting in a cooler spot after our cold front moves through between Wednesday and Thursday. That's going to cool us down, especially in the morning and overnight period, but that's also bringing us a few rain chances. So stay alert. Keep an eye on that. We'll keep you informed on everything right here in, uh, on 5 News. As far as the 10 day goes, you can see we're really warming up over the next couple days, staying in those 90s for most of the week until that cold front moves through. You can see that bump in rain chances on Friday, around 40% chance of those showers rolling in, and that's gonna help to cool us back into the 80s. So back towards uh, even below average for this time of the year, starting to cool down. We'll get to Labor Day, hopefully see a little bit of the dry air for the weekend. You can see those 20 to 30% chances rolling around for next weekend and Labor Day. So if you do have plans outside, that's just something to keep in mind on your mind is that we could be seeing a few of these scattered showers trying to move into our area. Some 80s even trying to work their way into the River Valley where we're feeling a little bit warmer throughout the week. We'll try to move into those high 90s by Monday and Tuesday, staying a little bit more dry with 10% chance showers, but mostly sunny skies. By the time we reach the end of the week, cooling back into those 80s, high to mid 80s, cooling off a little bit more. Those shower chances are in our southern counties as well. That's been your extended forecast. Once again, I'm 5 News Meteorologist Bella Grace.